In this video we're going to talk about removing something from a photograph that you don't want in the photograph. Uh, this happens a lot of times when you're when you're taking pictures. It's kind of demonstrated by the photograph you're seeing here. This picture was taken on the island of Kauai and it uh, was taken in early morning and you can see there are some pretty deep shadows there um, and it really the the sun not being so direct really adds a dramatic effect to to the landscape here and in the uh, the color the color of the uh, of the ground here but what we've got here is we've got a couple people that are in the photograph that maybe we just you want this to look like um, just a regular landscape and we're not taking pictures of people so we're gonna go ahead and take them out now don't anyone tell anybody but um, the lady right here in the middle that's my wife and I'm gonna take her out of there so don't anybody tell her that I'm taking her out of the photograph but I'll keep a copy with her in there so so no harm done there but what we're going to do is we're going to use the clone tool now if you've never used the clone tool it's pretty easy to use um, and it's pretty versatile and there's a lot of different options with the clone tool and we're not going to cover all the different options we're just going to cover what we need to to get these people um, here and down here in the uh, on the left side here we get those out of the photograph so that um, we have just the landscape. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here. We'll zoom in right here and get a better view of what we're looking at here. And we're just going to get uh, get this um, removed. And using the clone tool, what we basically do is we can't take a person or object out of there because we don't really know what's behind there but in a case like this we got a pretty good idea that it's just more sand and roots so it's it's kind of a no-brainer there uh, we just need to make copies of some of this and put it over top and we're just gonna brush it on there using the clone tool the clone tool is over here it's in a fly out box with the um, red eye removal tool um, so we pick the clone tool and then up here on our settings we can click the shape the size and the type of tool um, or the type of nib that we want and we're going to I'm going to pick this number 40 here and it's got a soft edge and the reason I use the soft edge is it gives me a much better um, blending as I use it than if I use something that had a hard edge um, it leaves more streaks and stuff in the photograph it could be useful when using doing something with solid colors but here we're just we're almost just using different textures to cover this up so the way the clone tool works here is once we have it selected we're going to go ahead and, and pick a spot out here that we want to use this texture out here and copy it down into this area to cover up um, this part of the, the photograph and um, we've got a couple different textures here and um, I'm going to size my nib down a little bit I can size it up here using the the nib size uh, control tool up there um, I like to use just just hold down the shift key I've got the shift key held down and click and drag down on the and pull down on the mouse and you can see it it you can raise by going up or down with the mouse the size and I'm going to use that size right there now I'm going to right click on a spot and you'll see that that leaves a marker on that spot and that's showing that area right there will be copied wherever I click the mouse so if I click it right here you can see it copied what was there down to here and since that has a soft edge um, it didn't make just like a perfect circle now if I hold down the mouse key I can drag it around so I'm holding down the mouse key and I drag it down as you can see that paints that texture that's on the right hand side in that area that has the the uh, plus sign in it it paints that to where the other um, portion of the tool is and so as I move that they both move and it copies that texture so we can just actually as we go along here it just copies that texture right over top of what we want to remove so as long as we pick a texture that m matches what is um, what our eye is really supposed to see there um, this actually does a pretty good job uh, obviously not perfect but as far as we're zoomed out here this isn't going to be too bad. Now we've got we've got her removed pretty good, and it actually looks it looks pretty good. But we've still got her shadow here, so I'm going to pick a new spot, and I'm going to pick a spot right there. I'll right click again, and um, that it it puts our where we're copying from right there, and then we'll just come down here and we'll just cover up that shadow 
with some of that texture there that did not uh, have a shadow on it. Basically it's it's kind of recoloring it. So it kind of looks like that. Um, and that actually looks pretty good. It's a little noticeable right here and we can go down here and these roots that come down we could just copy them on down like this and uh, kind of get a more natural look to it there. Um, that actually looks pretty good and we have no evidence Maybe we do a little bit right there. Seems to be a little color. There's no evidence that anything was there um, by just copying that texture over top of it. So that's the basics of how the clone tool works. And um, you can put as much effort into it as you want um, to get it to look the way you want. So we've got this removed. We're going to go down here. We're going to zoom in. We're going to use the same technique. I didn't want to close that. I want to zoom up here or pan up. There we go. Now we're going to use the same technique here, but we're going to use a little bit different strategy. Um, this shadow off of this bush comes out like this, and so we're going to, I'm going to right click right out here, and that's the part I'm going to copy, and I'm going to come directly on that same angle as that shadow is, on a, its slight up angle like this, and I'm going to position my tool right there when I start painting, like this and when I pull it this way it just brings that shadow up so even as I go off that shadow it, it keeps that line the same as you can see right right here where his leg was it just copies this line right here so it's very natural as I pull off of this and I should be able to use that pretty much all the way up through here as, as one as I exit into the sand that's not shadowed it looks very natural as far as covering him up and the same will go here when we get into this bush it's just going to make a copy of that bush right over top of where his shoulders are and now where his head is and as you can see he's pretty much completely gone now there's a little bit of um, you could say well you can see almost an exact copy right here of these two so that might look a little bit unnatural so at that point what I would do is I'd come down here and get something that's um, very similar but not an exact copy. I'm going to click right there and then I'll come down here and copy some of that into this area and just kind of blend that in and now it, it doesn't look it doesn't look so exact and um, we don't have an exact copy of that bush right there so um, that guy he's pretty much out of the picture right now and so we're going to do the same thing here I'm going to right click out here and come up on that same angle then I click and hold and just drag over top of that and just move, work our way right up through here just copying textures is all we're doing just copying textures over top of where that person was and right in there we've actually extended the bush out a little bit and um, to cover up where her head was now again we've got some we've got some evidence here of where that's been copied and to get rid of that we'll just come down here a little deeper and um, I'm just kinda clicking not clicking and dragging just kinda clicking where I think I need to and we'll cover up some of that like that and we've got a little bit of evidence here kinda shows up a little bit but you gotta remember we're zoomed in a long way so is this gonna be noticeable when we zoom back out I'm sure it's not now we've got a kind of a natural looking shadow here and the same thing goes here now let's zoom back out and look at this and uh, we've got our pic our people gone here uh, my wife's out of the picture there and the only evidence we have here that left is actually my shoulders my hand the camera and my head so we need to fix that up a little bit we're gonna go ahead and enlarge that tool so I'm holding down the shift key push um, click on the mouse hold it down and push up on the mouse and we're going to grow that a little bit and uh, we'll zoom in down here now here rather than completely get rid of my head I'm just going to disguise it as a as a shadow of a rock which probably isn't too far from what my head is and I'm going to pick a little softer tool here it, this is um, not going to copy everything it, it copies just kind of portions of it um, it's just much softer you'll see here so I'll right click down here in the shadow and then I just click as you can see it's just kind of a soft effect 
and we'll go along that edge and this is my solution to it you might have a better idea but we're going to soften that up a little bit so now it kind of looks like the shadow of a rock um, you can see how this is feathered a little bit we could shrink this uh, tool down shift key pull down until it's thinner and uh, that looks kind of dark to me but we could we could feather that out however we wanted we zoom back out um, maybe that's not perfect but that gives you an, an idea I mean there's a, a different amount of work that goes into um, actually you know cleaning up your photograph but that shows you kind of basically how to remove some of that area so then we've got our we've got everybody out of our photograph and um, I like this photograph because of the it was early in the morning and that the sun is not quite so um, the light color is just a little more on the red side and what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of, of gamma correction to this too as far as contrast goes we're going to make this picture just a little bit deeper as you can see I like to darken it up about like that so we've got a lot more contrast to it and um, so that's the changes I wanted to make to the photograph that um, shows you a little bit how to use that clone tool and um, hopefully everybody will play with that practice it's a pretty powerful tool for cleaning up your photographs so um, hopefully, hopefully everybody learned something and we'll see you in the next video